Welcome to Beam and G Drive, the car game that lets you do whatever you want. Even though the game has several modes, free roam is where the real fun is. So, here are 10 tips for beginners in free roam. Please enjoy and leave your questions in the comments below. Tip number one. How to recover and reset the active vehicle. When you drive around with your car, you will need to recover it eventually. Either because you crashed it or because you simply want to retry a section of the map. You have three methods to do so. The first method is a simple reset of the car. It will spawn the vehicle at its initial location. This is the most common way to reset your car in the game. The second method will restore the car model at your current location. You should note that restoring the vehicle will override the initial spawn location. The third method allows you to rewind your trajectory as long as you hold the key associated with reset. Indeed, the game memorizes your actions and lets you get back to where you want your car to spawn. This will also override your initial spawn location. Using these commands will allow you to set the car exactly where you want, as often as you want. The key bindings to recover or reset the car can be added in the options of the game. I map these commands directly to my controller for an easier use. Tip number two. How to change, add, or remove camera views. Similar to other car games, BeamNG allows you to change the camera in order to maximize your user experience. The C key is mapped by default, but can be edited in the options. This can be very useful depending on the situation. But did you know that you can edit the camera views as well as the order in which they are selected? If you go to the camera options, you will see a list of available views. Some of them are not active by default and will not be selected when pressing C. You can check the box on one of these additional views and even change the order of activation. Once it is done, the newly added camera view will be added to the rotation when pressing C. Tip 3, how to drive at night. By default, there is no day and night cycle when you drive on a map. To change the time of day, go to the environment option and use the slider to your liking. There are many editable parameters, but for the sake of this video, I will only change the time of day. There is an option to play the day and night cycle, but I find it to be too fast, and thus, unrealistic. Tip number 4, how to change the default car. Even though the D15 is a nice truck, you might want to change the default setting for some reason. 
If you have a preferred vehicle and want to load it by default, go to the Vehicles option and select a car. Load it in by selecting Replace Current. Then, return to the same menu again and select Set as Default. From this point on, your preferred car will be loaded by default, regardless from the map you have selected. Tip 5. How to customize and save your car settings. If you wish to customize your car, you can do so, by using the Vehicle Config menu. Use the drop-down menus to select the different components and watch your car change. Of course, the available parts always depend on the car you have selected. When you are OK with the changes, return to the Vehicle Config menu and go to the Save and Load tab. Enter the name of your config and save it. If you load the default model of this car, you will be able to load your config file the same process. Your config will be at the top of the already existing list of configs. Simply press the load button to apply your changes to the current card. Please be aware that you can only load your config if the related card is loaded in. For instance, you will not be able to load a D15 pickup truck config if a H15 Vanster is loaded. Tip number 6. How to hide the user interface. After customizing your car, you might want to admire it in its full beauty. But, the user interface with all its modules is in the way of getting your epic screenshot. Don't worry, you can hide it by using the command Alt plus U. Also, you can bring it back with the same key combo. Now you are ready to record your footage or take your screenshot. Tip number 7, Vehicle Specific Commands. When loading in a car, it is not always clear that it might have specific commands. Indeed, they are often hidden in the top right corner of the screen. Simply click the small arrow to drop down the interface and use the keys as displayed. Some cars have some cool surprises. Tip 8. How to set up a simple car chase. Now that you know the basics of the game, you can start to set up a simple scenario. To do so, you will have to spawn a second car that you can chase and crash into. Since we have a police car, go to the vehicle's menu and select the car you want to be the bad guy. Use. Spawn new. Instead of. Replace current.
The car will always appear in the left side of the current car, so be sure that there is enough space. Now that you have the second car, choose a location for it to reset. Once it's done, you can go back and forth between the two cars by pressing tap. Of course, this can be changed in the options. Now, to start our small police chase, simply press escape and select the option AI. Then, select flee. The other car will do its best to get away from you, ignoring traffic rules. Tip number 9, how to use the replay. If you wish to record a specific gameplay sequence, you can use the replay feature. To see how to start and stop a recording, simply search for the keyword replay and the key bindings. To showcase the replay, let's record a short police chase. the chase comes to an end, stop the replay and deactivate the cars. To watch your replay, go to the replay menu and find your replay file. Then, simply click on the play button. As you can see, the game will replay your short police chase. Since you no longer need to drive the car, you can go back and forth between the different cars and even change the camera views. By using the in-game app to manage replays, you are able to rewind, stop or fast forward the gameplay. Don't worry, I will create another guide for the most useful apps in-game. Even though it's very tempting to record long sessions, you should note that a replay is limited to 5 minutes. Tip number 10, how to download a mode. To download a mode, go to the repository of the game. It is a huge selection of cars, maps, skins and props. On the left side, you find all the filters that will allow you to narrow down your research for a car.
To find a car, let's deactivate all the categories we are not interested in. As you can see, the list is updated in real time. If you already know the name of the car you want, go to the search bar and enter its name. I'm looking for the pre-runner. Once you have found it, click on it to see its details, then subscribe to it. The game will manage the file by downloading and placing it in the right folder. The car is now displayed in your modes tab and can be managed from here. The options on the right side also allow you to clear your mods folder completely. This is very useful if you want to clean up your game once in a while. So, let's download it again. These small options allow you to deactivate or delete the specific mode. It will not impact the other modes, if you have some. Let's go to a map and try out the mode. Like the official cars, the mode will be available in the vehicle menu. There it is. Select the skin you like, then spawn it like any other car. This is a very good mode. If you wish to see my showcase, I will link it to the top of the screen right now. These are my 10 tips for new players. Please feel free to tell me if you want to see more. For now, I thank you for watching and wish you all the best. Stay healthy.